Commander, I failed you. I put the whole operation in jeopardy when I told Yuri that the world leaders were meeting in London. As of this moment, I'm tending my resignation. Oh, wash! You're a vital part of this team, Lieutenant. If you think you're the only officer ever to have his brain twisted by that maniac, you're free to leave. Otherwise, I won't hear any more foolishness about resignations. Are you with us? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, let's concentrate on finding this madman before he can do any more damage. General, I think I have something. Well, let's hear it. I've been triangulating Yuri's transmission, sir. I believe I've tracked his location. Good to have you back, Lieutenant. Well, I'll be dipped in molasses. He's holed up in the Antarctic. Okay, this is it, Commander. The whole enchilada. Prepare to move out! Incoming transmission. Our forces will deploy at Tierra del Fuego, at the southernmost tip of South America. You'll have to repair this abandoned Soviet base. The cliffs surrounding the Antarctic shoreline make a naval assault impossible. Once you get radar up and running, we'll chrono in an MCV. Yuri's transmissions are coming from the east. We're rooting for you, Commander. The whole world is watching and waiting. Battle control online. I have the tools. Hello everyone and welcome back to the final mission of the Allied campaign in Yuri's Revenge. I am Lee Time of Five Random Guys. Now, there's a few problems with this mission. One, I'm not really good with geography or anything. Geometry, geography. Um, but I'm not sh too sure if the southern, the most southern point of South America is this close to the Antarctic, to Antarctica. I'm not too sure. I could be wrong about that. Um, two, they give you Soviet technology. Yes, I understand that we made a treaty with, uh, the Soviet Union leader, um, and we captured an abandoned Soviet construction yard here, or Soviet base. But the thing is, they don't really give you any info about the Soviet technology. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure that the game, that the developers assume or know that you played uh, Red Alert 2. You've had to have installed Red Alert 2 in order to install this one, so they're pretty sure that you've played um, Red Alert 2 at some point. And it would have been fine had they just stuck with the old technology, the technology from Red Alert 2. But the give you the full tech that you would get for pl uh, playing as the Soviets. The new buildings, the new units, and they don't tell you anything about it. So unless you've actually played the Soviet campaign in this game, you have no clue what the <laughs> what these new buildings or, or units do. So it's kind of bizarre that they did this. And honestly, I don't understand why. They could have just as easily chronosphered an allied uh, construction yard or mobile construction vehicle right there. I mean, they paratrooped your engineers there. They know where to where to go, but really? I don't get it. I don't know why. So... Let's just continue. Um, it's real. You get bombarded really quickly, and I probably should have built the the shipyard a lot sooner, and when I had more money, because I would have probably have been able to uh, defend it and got rid of the 
um, the boomers there that were uh, hiding out there. Um, it would have also allowed me to get rid of the uh, the amphibious transporters that pop up. Um, but of course by this time it's pretty much too late. They don't send any more um, units to you at this point. Um, as you can see I'm setting up a, a parameter with um, with the um, rhino tanks along the shore so anything that they send in trying to uh, to deploy onto the shoreline they get attacked by the tanks. Um, I know the boomers are out there in the sea but they don't attack me either. <sighs> so yeah at this point I, even though I had a little bit of struggle struggle early on and I know I didn't mention didn't talk about them or anything but yeah I had a little bit of a struggle for a bit there once you if you can survive that this is pretty much it you can just sit here and build up now as soon as you build the radar they do chrono in the mobile construction yard and I don't like where they set it I don't like the setup for it because pretty much by that time Yuri's base is pretty well uh, built up, and I have to deal with them with whatever, whatever they send at me uh, there. So, and I'll we'll get to that in a little bit. It's almost uh, almost time for that. Um. So yeah, I'm pretty much at this point. I'm getting ready. I'm preparing myself for when they chrono in, because I know this mission too well. Because me and my dad both came up with the same strategy in this one. I don't, I don't really see a purpose of doing anything else but what I'm about to do here. So I'm getting everything ready. I'm putting them... I'm repairing everything, and I'm waiting for my money to get to a certain point before I deploy it. Construction options. Good job, Commander. We're searching for a suitable landing zone to chrono in your MCV. Just hold off Yuri's forces for a little longer. Yes, I have to hold off this onslaught of attacks that Yuri is sending me. I, I again, I'm playing this on normal. I'm not playing this on easy, and easy is just as hard. But this is on normal. This is the first time I actually played it on normal. I don't know if it's fucking easy as hell. Well, at this point, it's easy as hell. It's like, oh, I'm, I was expecting an onslaught of stuff coming in, but no, they said nothing. I'm like, okay. I'm just imagining how it would be in hard. But anyways, this is where they chrono my uh, MVP in. Building. On hold. Teleporting troops MVP. arriving in five. Four, MC. three, two, one. Warning, psychic dominator detected. Uh, Warning, we don't have much time for you. Build up your base in Antarctica quickly before Yuri can overrun your position. Building. Yes, they, they chronoed them right there. It's actually in the Antarctic on the same land as uh, Yuri. Now... Typically, this wouldn't be a big deal had I was able to, to build this unit from the or build this base from the start. Had I, <laughs> but no, I couldn't. I have to deal with it. Ugh. Sir, if you can combine Soviet technology with our own, you should be able to come Solid up with some interesting roster. results. Let's it could give you the edge you need, Commander. Primary building select. I don't do <laughs> do too much. I <laughs> in uh, mixing up the technology. Um, there is some stuff that you can do uh, with it, but I don't really prefer to do a lot. My goal here is to, as you saw, I built a service depot up there. I I selected the war factory up there and made it my main my primary uh, building and I built me another allied mobile construction vehicle 
you'll see why in a moment. Now, had I probably focused more on this base at this moment, I probably could have defended it, but... Um, we are introduced to a, to a new enemy tank. It is the Magnetron. Now, they don't mention it at all. I, I, I believe that they actually do. There is a... Um, a transmission for it, but they didn't. It didn't deploy it this time. I don't know why. The Magnetron uh, pretty much has uh, pretty much grabs hold of your tanks and pull them closer. It makes it easier. Yeah, there. There's my base gone. <laughs> for that purpose, there. I built me another MCV. Um, it pretty much uh, makes it more easier to pull in units close enough so that you can mind control them, so or destroy them by a huge army. Um, yeah, but only on armored units. Anyways, do do do. Um, we are also introduced to their. Um, their new super weapon. Now, we I know we know a little bit about the psychic dominator. Even though we haven't had to deal with it too much, the psychic dominator um, it can mind control a group of uh, a group of units. If it's close enough to, if it happens close enough to some buildings, it can actually damage them some. But it's not too much. Um, but the other but the um, main super weapon that we are introduced is the genetic mutator. Now this works on infantry units. Um, they, when this is uh, used on a unit, it actually transform or uh, on a group of unit it transforms them into uh, what are they brutes? Yeah into brutes under Yuri's control. Um, now, whichever one they, whichever uh, machine they use, the, rather it's the genetic mutator or the psychic dominator, it's under Yuri's control, period. There's no uh, regaining control of it or anything, so you best just to destroy the unit. Um, now, I do try, I do build all of my uh, super weapons, mainly the nu nuclear missile and the uh, uh, storm. Now, I don't talk about the force field too much, but th that was a pretty good example of what Yuri did there. Whenever I launched the nu nuclear missile and and weather uh, generator on his construction yard, he used a force field on it. Force field gives it a temporary... Um, Invulnerability, kind of like how the Iron Storm is, but it's it lasts a lot shorter than the or not the Iron Storm, the Iron Current does. It lasts shorter than the Iron Current, and it takes longer to charge up, and you must have pow power uh, constantly for it to work. I don't like it. I I don't like using it too much, and I don't, and I think it's kind of cheap. It's kind of a cop out because it's something available like right away. Um, now, as you can see, I'm attacking the. I think that's yeah, the psychic dominator. I used both of my super weapons and I still didn't destroy it. So, if that's an indication that that thing takes a takes a beast. Now, <laughs> as you can see here, just my luck. I go over here to take. To capture this oil refinery and build uh, an ore uh, ore refinery, and he uses the genetic mutator on my engineer. So yeah, that was nice of him. But it does have to recharge, so I was able to go back in and get it. So now I get all the ore there, and that's a case of beer. Hmm. I know what your tactics are, General, and I can tell you, they won't work. Building. 
Sorry, I got a... Got a text, like a... Like always, it just my luck. Um, I do start... As you can see, I'm building an army of Kiroffs. Um, this is pretty much the be my best bet. Uh, my best suggestion to do is just build a whole bunch of Kiroffs. And I build, I think, 15. Maybe I do 20. I don't remember. Um, two power plants should power everything for the rest of the... <laughs> everything that you should possibly need. Um, even after I build the all the power or the super weapons and pretty much everything available. Now, I do build... I do start building apocalypse tanks, and you will see me use them in a little bit. However, I do mess up, up with the strategy on that, but not too badly that it hinders me winning. Um... Yeah, as you can see, I'm now starting to attack their power plants. If I can knock out enough of their power plants, just like always, it will take out... They will lose uh, power and everything. Now, it may be hard to notice, especially since I'm going fast. Yeah, and I'm also exploiting um, um, my other super weapons, uh, chronosphering their units out into the ocean, iron curtaining um, infantry units that instantly kills them. But, um... You may not notice it, but there is actually two bases, two Yuri uh, colors here. There is the light purple and dark purple. Dark purple is north. I think it has control of both of the super weapons, but I'm not too sure. And then the light purple is... is south. Is at the far south. Where the dark purple is north of the of the lighter one, um, but yeah, as you can see, I am now going in for the attack, and this is where I mess up up with the uh, apocalypse tanks. What I was trying to do was uh, you put the iron curtain on them, transport them over, and then this and start attacking. It doesn't work that way. If you iron curtain something, it is protected. Period. It can't be can't be attacked. Can't be mind control. Cannot be t teleported anywhere. So, I sh what I should have done was teleport it, then iron curtain them, which I do in a second, and you will see that it is a pretty nasty uh, strategy, and it and it works great. Um. But you have to be right on top of it, because the Iron Curtain does not last very long. But yeah, now that I've... I've powered down all their power, so now... Even if, um... <laughs> I love this. A group of them right together? Nuclear power. A uh, nuclear... <laughs> nuclear attack them. Um... Yeah, here I here I did. I, find, I did it successfully this time. I learned from my mistakes. And I go in and and uh, attack. Now, I'm not too worried about them actually getting mind controlled, because by this time I pretty much have everything under control. All I have to worry about is the Gatling tanks and stuff like that. Gatling tanks is what it can, are the only units that can actually shoot down my uh, um, Kiros. Now... At this point, they actually sell everything. So, I'm now almost almost done. Now, like any AI, any any of the AIs is programmed to go straight to my base. Now, typically on this island, my base would be right there where they're all gathered. I hope you guys know what I'm about to do. Because it's nasty. Because it's just as bad. <laughs> It's like, oh, you guys gathered in a group? Nuclear <laughs> missile. <laughs> Lightning storm. <laughs> I almost destroyed them all. Now, the, it does say to destroy all of Yuri's troops. Again, I mentioned earlier that there are two colors here. I didn't realize that I only had 
to destroy one of them. That was the main, the primary purple. Um. So I'm sitting here trying to protect my gear. Crows, by the way, iron curtains does not work like that. And build more. But suddenly, I won. I'm like, oh, oh Mission okay. Accomplished. I didn't realize I was done. <laughs> yeah, the, I wasn't expecting it. So. But anyways, that is it. That's the final mission, everyone. Um, yeah. It wasn't too hard. <laughs> surprisingly. First try first time I ever played this, this mission it was pretty difficult and overwhelming but once you get through that first part you pretty much have it a breeze just focus on on getting your units or getting the technology over to the island that you started on but yeah that is it for the ally campaign like I said a lot shorter than then Red Alert 2, which again, this is a suspension pack, so uh, Soviet campaign is coming up next. Gonna be just as short. So, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and I hope you guys enjoy the the uh, in ending and the final credits. See you guys next time. Bye. Tonight, I am Yuri, and you will obey. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a nice, safe spot for him to live out his days. Professor Einstein calls it a psychic isolation chamber. <laughs> Thanks to you, Commander, he won't be able to mind control a fly. What's going on? We're picking up a time distortion wave, General. It is the two timelines, Lieutenant. They are merging. One series of events must take precedence over the other. Timelines merging in three, two, one. We are now at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. How you been, Mr. President? General Carville? How... Did you ever hear of time travel, sir? What do you think? The President's having a victory bash at the White House tonight, so I thought maybe he might... You coming, Commander? That wasn't supposed to happen. Professor! Doc! Yeah, you still have that time machine, right? Good. Could you send me back in time two hours? I don't think you got your timeline straight. Catch you on the replay?